John Alder, an acoustic guitarist from Vancouver, BC, Canada. And today I'm going to do a review on this amazing Journey Instruments carbon fiber guitar. So let's get started. The whole goal behind this instrument was to make a professional instrument for professional players or anybody for that matter that you can break into two pieces, pack up in a nice little storage case, stick in the overhead when you're flying. And I think it's even called an overhead. Yep, called overhead. And the model's a 0F660. So can it achieve that? Let's find out. So first off, very stylish looking little guitar. Amazing. Uh, comes in different colors. I think it's red, black, blue, and white. And I chose the orange because it's pretty, pretty cool looking. And uh, you can see it's got a beautiful black back. Okay, in terms of features, well, as I said, it's a carbon fiber guitar all the way through. So that means that you can travel with it to any climate and uh, you're not going to have the usual problems you'd have with humidity and stuff like that. So that's very, very, very neat. Uh, the next thing is that you notice the sound holes offset. Now this could be a problem because if you had longer fingernails, you'd tap into the instrument top. But they were smart enough and wise enough to make sure they left a lot of space. So as you're finger picking, you actually don't touch the soundboard at all. And then the offset of the sound holes is really nice because it's closer to your ear. So you get that big, fat, kind of rich sound. And I know it's 14 frets to the neck. I'm not sure the scale length, but the, just a really, really comfortable neck. It feels, feels great. Um, great for strumming and finger picking, as I'll show you in a few minutes. Um, but some of the other very, very functional features are that you have an armrest bevel, which is usually found on, well, quite expensive guitars. Some call it a comfort rest. And the idea is that you put your armor on it and you don't get the usual red imprints that you would. And uh, so they just didn't stop there. They actually gave you yes indeed a rib rest so same thing for your ribs you don't get that red line after hours and hours of playing here's where you can see the knob to take it apart which we'll show you later as well too so portability is a great thing but we all know why we buy a specific guitar is because we like the sound of it and because uh, that inspires us to play so let's hear how this little guy stacks up Amazing sustain and a juicy, fat, very smooth sounding guitar. Wow, just rings forever. Okay, so now I'm going to plug it in because it's got a pickup in it. Okay, here's how it sounds like with a pickup. Once again, very rich sounding. Wow, and it's sustained, kiss killer. Okay, so the guitar speaks for itself, sounds amazing.
like a maze All of the walls continue to change some very cool effects with this thing. I forgot to mention the compactability of this little guy. So really, all you do is take the dial on the back, spin it, and keep spinning. And then you take this little button right here, push the button, and bingo. And I guess you just pack it up and put it inside this awesome little case. Very class act. Um, you know what? Besides putting the guitar, you could put wear t-shirts, everything here. You could probably pack your whole gig stuff in here and, uh, and just take that on board. So I'm going to put it back together. <laughs> Just simply snap it on, take the dial, tighten it up, and presto, you've got a guitar. And is it in tune? Let's find out. Wow, fairly close. feature it stays in tune well so as you can see the guitar has got a lot of great features but the bottom line once again is sound and is the guitar inspiring to play and I gotta say yes hugely Rob and his team have done an amazing job of, uh, of making this happen and I'm not sure if they even know it or not but they've got all these cool little effects uh, by the design that have really now opened up more possibilities to enhance your tone palette so I'm going to show you a few of these because when you think about percussion typically we get you know, the usual spots and you know, your toms and your scratches and stuff like that uh, but here with these additional contours you get additional tones that keep you in close proximity which is nice you don't have to jump all over the place so for example in the lower bout because of the scoop out you get three sounds now nice on the upper bout same thing because we got the little scoop out here. Same with the armrest bevel. And uh, then of course your usual stuff, but you also get a built-in scratch plate. It's very cool. And you also get this very, very cool vibrato kind of effects. Um, usually that you get with neck bending you can do from the sound hole because the sound is off place you can actually use it to your advantage and if you check this out get all these little variations so you can build percussion in with your kind of a whammy or vibrato effects very cool. So let's mess around a little bit and see what we can uh, come up with. Fun!
totally fun. Great job, Robin team at Journey Instruments. Love it.